Certain celebrities leave behind an immortal legacy, with fascination around their lives and work only intensifying after their passing. Sadly for some, this enduring interest means they don't find peace, as grave robbers and fervent fans disturb their rest. Celebrity graves have turned into modern pilgrimage sites, drawing countless visitors annually. However, the antics of some of these visitors are stranger and more extreme than you'd imagine. Safeguarding these stars' memories and memorials is a constant challenge. From stolen skulls to mysterious admirers, here's a list of celebrity graves with the most bizarre stories. Marilyn Monroe. On August 5, 1962, Marilyn Monroe died from an apparent drug overdose. Her ex-husband, Joe DiMaggio, arranged her burial at Westwood Village Memorial Cemetery, choosing it for its connection to her surrogate mother and childhood guardian. He kept her funeral intimate and had red roses delivered to her grave thrice weekly for 20 years. Over time, Monroe's resting place has attracted other celebrities like Dean Martin and Frank Zappa. Hugh Hefner even bought the tomb next to hers. Monroe's grave, often adorned with lipstick prints and flowers, draws many fans. Some report seeing a pink mist, believed to be her spirit. Her ghost is also said to haunt other LA locations, earning her the title of the hardest working ghost in Hollywood. Best friend. Elvis Presley. About two weeks after Elvis Presley's death, three men, Raymond Green, Eugene Nelson, and Ronnie Lee Adkins, were arrested for attempting to steal his body from Forest Hills Cemetery. Various rumors surround this bizarre incident. One suggests the thieves planned to use explosives to break into the mausoleum, but the ones they had were insufficient for the task. This botched attempt fueled speculation that Presley's family might have orchestrated the heist. They wanted Elvis buried at Graceland, but had been denied due to zoning issues. Although the thieves failed, the Memphis board eventually granted permission for the reburial, and now the king of rock and roll rests in peace at Graceland. Charlie Chaplin Grave robbers have various motives. Some are avid bone collectors, some are morbid investigators, and others are simply in financial distress. Charlie Chaplin's coffin was stolen two months after his burial at Cimetière de Corsier sur Vive in Switzerland. The reason? According to reports, the thieves saw this as their only solution to financial troubles. They demanded a ransom of around $600,000, or as five crore, from the comedian's family. Una Chaplin, Charlie's wife, received more than 25 calls from the thieves, but refused to give in. Instead, she collaborated with the police, who eventually caught the robbers a few months later. Chaplin's remains were reburied in their original grave, and his tomb was reinforced with concrete to prevent future break-ins. Terry the Dog Eternal fame isn't just reserved for humans. Long before the era of social media's popular pets, a Cairn Terrier named Terry captured the hearts of millions with its role as Toto in The Wizard of Oz, 1939. Terry was initially buried in a plot that was later destroyed during the construction of the Ventura Freeway. However, after a public campaign in 2010, a stone memorial was erected in Terry's honor at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. This memorial features a life-size statue of Toto, sculpted by Roman Gall, and bears the iconic movie quote, there is no place like home. Johannes Brahms. Grave robbers exhibit remarkably specific interests, targeting not just skulls, but also dentures. In a notable incident, someone stole the teeth of two renowned composers, Johannes Brahms and Johann Strauss Jr., and brazenly displayed their stolen skeletal treasures in an online video. Brahms and Strauss rest in the picturesque Vienna Central Cemetery, Central Friedhof where many other musical luminaries like Beethoven, Schubert, Schoenberg, and Gluck are also buried. The cemetery is accessible via Tram 71, lending the phrase, taking the Tram 71 inches as a euphemism for passing away in Vienna. Leslie Nielsen, the beloved comedian 1926-2010, is most famous for his role as Detective Frank Drebin in the Police Squad series and the Naked Gun films. Originally from Canada, Nielsen began his career in serious movies like Forbidden Planet and The Poseidon Adventure before transitioning to comedy. His breakout role in Airplane propelled him to stardom, leading to appearances in Dracula, Dead and Loving It, and the Scary Movie series. Known for his knack for bathroom humor, it's fitting that his tombstone 
bears the inscription, Letter Rip, honoring his talent for slapstick comedy. Rodney Dangerfield, renowned for his catchphrase, I don't get no respect, cemented his place as one of the funniest comedians of the last century. Originating from New York, Dangerfield faced years of struggle as a stand-up comic before gaining prominence on late-night talk shows. In the 1980s, he found success in several hit films like Caddyshack, Easy Money, and Back to School. Known as the King of the Zingers, it's fitting that his final message to the world is, there goes the neighborhood, humorously suggesting that his presence in the cemetery might lower property values. A comedian through and through right until the oh, end. I tell you, Doc, my family's always had problems. Bette Davis, often hailed as the greatest actress of all time and nicknamed the Fifth Warner Brother, Bette Davis achieved immense stardom during Hollywood's golden age. Coming from New England, Davis was a proud Yankee, known for her dedication to delivering authentic and sometimes unglamorous performances that deeply resonated with audiences. Her career soared with iconic roles in films like Jezebel, All About Eve, and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Davis was famously meticulous, often insisting on perfection down to the smallest detail, which occasionally caused friction with her co-stars. Robert Wagner recounted an incident during their Broadway production of Night of the Iguana, where Davis reportedly so irritated her leading man that he attempted to strangle her. Thus, it's no surprise that her legacy is encapsulated in the enduring phrase, she did it the hard way. Joan Hackett The adventurous actress Joan Hackett, renowned for her standout performance in the 1981 film Only When I Laugh, earning her an Academy Award nomination and a Golden Globe win. Despite leaving high school early, Hackett rose to become a celebrated theater actress of her era, catching the eye of Hollywood. She appeared on notable TV series like The Twilight Zone, The Defenders, and The Love Boat. Sadly, Hackett's life was cut short by ovarian cancer at just 49 years old, and she was laid to rest at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. After a prolific career, her epitaph fittingly reads, Go away, I'm asleep. James Doohan, the actor well known for portraying Scotty in Star Trek, expressed a desire to have his remains sent into space. However, realizing this wish proved extremely difficult, encountering several unsuccessful efforts spanning three years. At one point, his ashes were briefly misplaced. Eventually, in 2008, his remains were clandestinely transported to the International Space Station. This accomplishment remained undisclosed for 12 years, as premature disclosure could have sparked objections from NASA. These final resting places become pilgrimage sites for fans, Yet they also face the challenges of theft and disturbance. Despite efforts to safeguard their legacies, from elaborate memorials to reinforced tombs, the allure of these stars persists, ensuring their stories continue to captivate long after they've departed. If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.